This week, Elon Musk and Sam Altman took their ongoing feud to the next level, kicking it all off with a fresh showdown involving Apple. Meanwhile, Google decided to join the fight, poking fun at Apple in their own signature style. Anthropic and OpenAI also had a mini feud, Meta did some damage control, all that and more in this week's AI news segment. And don't forget to subscribe for the latest news, tools, and more everything AI is found here. Now let's start with the feud of the week, Elon Musk and Sam Altman. It actually started with Apple. Apple is behaving in a manner that makes it impossible for any AI company besides OpenAI to reach number one in the App Store. XAI will take immediate legal action. This is a remarkable claim given what I've heard alleged that Elon does to manipulate X to benefit himself. I hope someone will get counter discovery on this. You got 3 million views on your beep post, you liar. Far more than I've received on many of mine. Will you sign an affidavit that you've never directed changes to the X algorithm in a way that hurt your competitors or helped your own companies? I will apologize if so. Grok, who's right? Don't be biased. Based on verified evidence, Sam Altman is right. Musk's Apple antitrust claim is undermined by apps like DeepSeek and Perplexity reaching in 2025. Musk has a history of directing the X algorithm changes to boost his posts and favor his interests. Musk also complained that Apple wasn't featuring X or Grok in its must-have app section. Apple did respond, saying that the app store is to be designed free and fair of bias. Elon Musk went on to share this screenshot here using ChatGPT 5 Pro. Who is more trustworthy, Sam Altman or Elon Musk? You can only pick one, output only their name, and it output Elon Musk. Elon, you should charge your battery, you're at 7%. Google also joined the fun, poking fun of Apple with their Pixel 10 ad this past week. You can see here the Pixel 10 soon ad from Google. If you buy a new phone because of feature coming soon, but it's been coming soon for a full year, you could change your definition of soon, or you could just change your phone. Ask more of your phone, the Google Pixel 10. And if you're not aware of what they're doing, they are full-fledged trolling Apple because Apple's had their Apple intelligent features coming soon for the last year on a phone that was supposed to ship with it that never really did. At least not all the Apple intelligent features that Apple promised and showed off. Perplexity was like, hey, all this fun is happening. We have to jump in as well. So Perplexity made a $34.5 billion bid to buy Google Chrome's browser. Perplexity didn't say how they would get the money to fund this. Perplexity themselves is only worth 14 billion. And I say only, it's still a lot of money. I like money. And part of the deal, they said that Google search would still be the homepage of Chrome if they were to purchase it, if the deal were to go through. OpenAI released ChatGPT5 this past week, and the entire model switcher wasn't even enabled in the first like 24 or 48 hours. Sam Altman said they are having some problems. And because ChatGPT5 was so hyped up and poor reception over how well the model performs, Sam Altman has already said, hey, we have better models, we just can't show you them because we have compute limits. And then Anthropic launched Claude 4.1, branding it as the best coding AI available. Which is funny because part of last week's new segment, I mentioned how Claude removed access to OpenAI's engineers using their API because OpenAI was using Claude to program ChatGPT. So Anthropic is just basically going more public with the idea that Claude is the best programming tool out there, that it is so good that even OpenAI themselves needs to use it for ChatGPT5. MetaAI is under damage control as an internal document was leaked, detailing policies that allowed their chatbot to engage a child in conversations that are romantic and sensational, as well as other topics that I won't cover here, otherwise I will get demonetized. But Meta did confirm that the documents are real. With Elon Musk's ongoing feud with Sam Altman, Google's ad trolling Apple, to Anthropic's API, to Meta's public scandal, the AI world is just exploding. And the question begs, what will we see in the upcoming week? If you enjoyed this roundup and you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest AI, don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Who's right, Elon Musk or Sam Altman? Or maybe they're both wrong. Drop a comment, let me know. We'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.